Okay, so this is the tutorial video video for blend shapes. I assume by now that you've watched the theory video, which is a general introduction to the subject, and the technical video, which shows you how to use the blend shape tool and how to create blend shapes. So now in the tutorial, we're going to show how to animate blend shapes. <clears throat> and what we want to do is basically animate this cube so that it um, takes on the different target shapes that we've created here. So in order to do that, we want to go to Window, uh, Animation Editors, Blend Shape, and that will pull up the um, blend shape um, uh, sliders that we've created. So right now, I'm going to set a keyframe at frame one, keyframe it there, and also keyframe it down here just to be doubly sure that it's actually going to work. And then let's go to frame, actually, <clears throat> I'll just extend our timeline here to 49. And so let's go to frame 17 and let's keyframe this target shape here. Hit S, keyframe, and press play to see what happens. Okay, good. So it's animating. So if I now take it back to say uh, 33 and take that back down and hit keyframe again and hit S here in the slider I should have the cube animate like that and now actually let's let's just take this to 99 set that to 99 frames so we've got lots of time to play with so now let's go to frame 49 and let's try and go to the next shape. Actually, let's keyframe that at 49. Hit S here. <clears throat> and now turn on that shape. Key, key. And then go back to 65 and take it back down again. Key, key. Now, if I press play, I should have the... Ah, now something's gone wrong. Uh, that's probably because I didn't set a keyframe on this second target shape um, early enough, so it's actually started to take on the characteristics of both. So I need to go ahead and uh, take a look at that. Um, now, actually what I'll just do for now is just I'll just Z that out. So if I go, if I just Z until I get back to the first bit we did, Okay, so we know that uh, between 1 and 33, we've got the first target shape working. So the next thing to do is to see what's going on down in the graph editor. So I'm going to hit spacebar, and that's going to bring up the uh, graph editor. And now we can see, by clicking on the blend shape, I can see what's going on in the graph editor. Here's the the, the, the first uh, blend shape that we're animating. Oh, actually, if I go down to uh, target shape there, um, and you can see that we're blending between the base shape and the target shape there so at 17. So if I move, if I go to the move tool by pressing W and I move that up and down, I can adjust that curve. And I can also adjust the curve like this to get a sort of slightly more bouncy motion if I want. So it's the same thing that we would get if we were just animating, keyframing it as normal. Okay, so that's blend shape one. That's the first one, that's this one over here. So now let's go to blend shape two. Let's see if we can get it to take on blend shape two. So let's set a keyframe there with blend shape two target shape 2. Let's also keyframe that at frame 1 as well and at frame 17 just so that everything is working. And now let's go to 49 and take blend shape 2 up to the maximum. Let's flatten off that curve. So now we're, we're animating with the graph editor in view which is going to get us a nicer result. Okay, so now let's take it back to 65. Let's take that back down to zero. Hit A in the graph editor so we can see all of these curves. And now we can start to see how these blend shapes are working. Um, 
and by whoops oh, let me just flatten that off but you can see there's the target shape target shape 2 and target shape 3 that's this guy over here hasn't been animated yet so let's do that now so let's go to frame 81 and now let's turn on target shape 3 except let's also keyframe it at frame 65 actually it looks like it is keyframed so let's go to 81 turn up target shape 3 set hit A in the graph editor flatten off that tangent and then let's go back to 99 and let's take that back down to 0 hit S key hit A in the graph editor and now if I press play I should find that we animate between those three different target shapes so you can see that in order to control this you want a combination of using these sliders here and the graph editor down here so we can control it in both places and the perspective view up here so it's as usual in Maya you want to try and have a number of different windows in view at once and, and keep an eye on it down here in the graph editor so you can see the various different target shapes um, and control these curves. So that's the end of the um, first part of the tutorial on how to animate blend shapes. In, in, in the next part of the tutorial we'll try something just very slightly more ambitious.